So we are into another month of subscription service boxes. August is here. I have received my first of the subscription services that I am uh, subscribed to. And that is of course, Glow Addict. I will say Glow Addict, they are Johnny on the spot with those uh, shipments. They really like, I guess it's because I did the year. And so like I've already paid for it. So they don't have to wait for my payment to go through, but literally like the first, second, maybe third of the month, I get a notification saying it shipped. So it has arrived. I'm very excited. I really have grown to love this little subscription service. If you don't know about it, they're very indie, very small still, um, but they have great stuff. Um, they don't do customization. So you basically, subs uh, you can subscribe to three different boxes. They have a little one, they have the um, big beauty one, and then they've got a skincare one. And I'm, currently uh, subscribed for the big beauty one. I think I'm in like month four or five of getting boxes from them, um, but I did do a year subscription. So I have it for a good couple more months. I already know what I'm getting because like I said, there's no um, customization and everybody gets the same thing. So at the beginning of the month, I do normally see the spoiler uh, that, that says what you're gonna get this month. And I'm pretty excited about it. Um, they typically do a palette and then face, fake eyelashes, but they kind of mix it up this month. They really shoved this into the mailbox. So I hope it's not messed up. It is definitely messed up. Look at that. That is not on Glow Attic. That is on the mail people, but like, look at that. That's, oof. Do you see, can you see? Can you see how bad it is? It's bad. So the first thing we got, I'm just gonna take it out of the box because the box is uh, done for anyway. The first thing we got is a Perfect Curl Eyelash Curler. It's a good, it's nice and sturdy. It comes with this nice little clamp to keep it from like opening and closing too much. But it definitely, it honestly kind of looks like, like a doctor's chair. It looks like, like a medical tool of some point, point of some kind. I was trying to say kind and then I like stumbled and then I corrected myself to point. I don't know why. To be honest, I don't normally curl my eyelashes because weird childhood traumas that you just remember for some reason. I remember my mom, like when I was at one of my dance recitals, she was curling my eyelashes and she was like, don't turn your head because if you turn your head while well, your eyelashes are in this, they're all rip out, which is true. Like that's something that definitely could happen, but it's made me horrified and terrified of using these. So I don't use them very often, but this is definitely a nice one. Um, I haven't gotten one in years. I think the last time I got one, it was like, when I was a sophomore in high school and I got a Clinique free gift and it came in it. So I, yeah, so I'm actually kind of excited about it. Maybe it will inspire me to start curling them because I don't wear falsies very often. So, you know, curling them and adding a little bit extra oomph to them is not a bad thing. And it looks like they actually gave us in there a replacement of the little padding. So when this one gets, ooh, ooh. When this one gets all used up and, and done for, you can actually replace it. I love that. That's really, really nice. So yeah, pretty good. Fix the box. Pretty good little item that we have there. The next thing I got is the other thing that has gotten smushed. You guys can see it probably a little bit more easy because it's not a black box. This is the Mana Kadar Beauty four piece pro eye kit brush set. I actually just recently um, also started getting the AIA beauty bundle. I'm a big fan of it so far. That box is on the way and I'm, I'm hoping it should arrive soon. But last month, the entire um, box featured Mana Kadar stuff. And that was the first time I'd ever heard of her beauty line. And I've really enjoyed the stuff that I've used of, from it so far. Um, her face mist is my favorite that I've used up until this point. So yeah, so I'm um, I'm excited to test these out. They look like really pretty brushes. Um, I like the rose gold a lot. Rose gold is one of my, uh, my favorite metal finishes. So I really like the whole aesthetic of it. I like the boxes too, because her whole boxing is like the same kind of rose gold type thing. So big fan of that. Really excited to play around with the brushes and see how they work. I throw in things. Ugh. The next thing we have is a smoke bomb uh, with foil. Interesting. Uh, and that is a foiled eyeshadow palette. And I like um, the Balm Cosmetics a lot. Cute little, just like a mini palette, but still really pretty colors. You get a really nice light kind of glittery shade. This really nice taupey blending shade is what I would call it. And then a darker kind of glittery uh, brown shade as well. I think you can make a really nice, very natural, subtle, smoky eye with it. You can do a lot, even with those three little colors. Um, I, yeah, and I think it's really versatile. A, a lot of times, and I kind of love this about Glow Addict. A lot of times they send you palettes that have like bold colors and they're bright and they're like, whoa. 
but this time it actually seems like it's something like if you're more comfortable with neutral stuff that you would be able to use very easily. Uh, the next thing we have is, wow, man, the male people really did a number on this bug. Found the cap for it, but he's like, my little guy is like kind of uh, to the side. He's like, Burr. just like that. And the next thing we have is a little mini Grace and Stella rose spay. Rose spray, words are very challenging for me apparently. And it is a hydrating facial spray. Cute little sample size. This is honestly what I would call like an extra product in the bag because normally they send us five and this we're, this one we have six. So I think, can I count? No, apparently I can't count. No, we have five. I'm Today's hard for me apparently. <laughs> I am on the struggle bus today, but now I've counted and I realized we do have five. So this one is definitely like a smaller product for them. Um, I think normally send full size stuff and this one seems like it's kind of a mini. I don't hate it. It is what it is. Um, the last thing we have, I'm really excited about this one. This is the Secret to Eternal Beauty Shining Eyes Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. I didn't start using liquid eyeshadows until very recently. I love them. I love them, especially when they're like a great formula. I, they make everything so much easier. I'm a huge fan. I have a, amassed quite a little collection of it and um, I just am a huge fan of them. So this one is actually a shade that I don't really have, but it's one that I will use a lot. Um, it is a very nice magenta, deep, deep pink shade. Um, I have a similar one. It's a little bit lighter. It's from, um, Ciate London and I received it in a boxy charm last year. That was actually the product that inspired me to begin my quest for finding great liquid eyeshadows. And since then I've accumulated some Stila ones, a Smith and Colt one, a couple other ones. So I just, I really have, they've totally changed my makeup application, especially when I'm not filming and I just wanna do something really quick. I love giving like a little bit of just like a neutral kind of matte shade and then swiping that on top and you're like good to go. I love them. So yeah, I'm really excited to test this out. I'm really excited to test all of it out actually. Um, and I think this, especially this cute little like neutral palette, if you have like this bright pop of pink on there with it, it might look like really cool together. So this might be a fun box to try and do like a full look with using the brushes and everything. So yeah, that is our glow addict for the month of August. Um, it is a little bit different from what they normally send us. It's kind of interesting to see that. I really like this box still, um, but normally they send like a full size eyeshadow palette and a set of falsies. They didn't do that this time. So they're kind of like mixing it up, which I appreciate. I like seeing a little bit of variety with my boxes. A big part of what I really like receiving is those full size eyeshadow palettes. So to not have that this month, there's a little bit of sadness, but I still like what they've done. They've given us a liquid eyeshadow. They've given us a little mini palette. They've given us eyeshadow brushes. I got more than enough. I don't know if I mentioned it with this one yet, but I believe the price um, per box with shipping and everything winds up coming out to be like $22. I had a coupon and I bought the year subscription. I think I wound up paying like just at like $200 for it, maybe like 189 or something like that, 179 maybe. Basically the coupon I had, I think was like 20 or 30% off and it covered the shipping. That's how I looked at it. It's like it took out, whatever it took off like shipping basically was exactly that. So I got free shipping more or less for the year. I, I've been really happy with it though. I've yet to get a box that I've been disappointed with and they do really great sales as well. So. Yeah, maybe if you guys are looking for like a nice kind of little um, small subscription service uh, just to test out, look at them. Uh, I would recommend looking at if you like uh, palettes and falsies though, just because we didn't get that this box, that's normally what we wind up getting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, then consider subscribing because we'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. We would uh, we'd always like to have new and wonderful members join us on our quest for beauty information. I don't know why that sounded so noble. It's not noble. It's just, I'm just here talking to a camera. Okay. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.